Farzana Marie, and this is an introduction to my book, Hearts for Sale, A Buyer's Guide to Winning in Afghanistan. It was Thanksgiving Day, 2010. Our team was geared up, traveling in two armored SUVs in the southern part of Kabul, Afghanistan, on the way to meet with a group of NGOs. Just as we were turning left into our location, a motorcycle tried to pass the front vehicle on the left side, zooming around it and clipping the front corner. An Afghan civilian man and his two children were on the motorcycle and went spilling into the street. It was a nightmare. Our team leader, an Air Force officer who spoke Dari, told the front vehicle crew to stay put and exited the vehicle, followed closely by myself and our linguist, who also happened to be a medical doctor. Colonel Kirk ran toward the crash, calling out to the man in Dari, Are you okay? Are your kids okay? The man turned and glared, a look of rage and outright hatred on his face. Then it dawned on him that the figure running toward him in the standard array of body armor, helmet, and weaponry of an American soldier was speaking his language. He stood there, stunned. Then his expression transformed into incredulous joy. Joy. It was as if he had forgotten about the accident, about his kids sprawled on the pavement. Dari Gagmezani? He said. Are you speaking Dari? Yes, I'm speaking Dari, countered the concerned officer. Jurasti, are you okay? About the time we got to the kids and started dusting them off, a crowd had begun to gather. Much to everyone's relief, they were unharmed and the man seemed keener to point out that our driver was stupid. We amiably concurred, engaging with him and his kids in Dari to their continued shock. The man started asking us questions about our work and how it was that we came to speak Dari. We asked his forgiveness for the unfortunate accident and if there was anything we could do. Amazingly, he declined and instead thanked us for taking time to learn the language and show respect. We said our farewells and rallied inside the nearby compound, shaken, but grateful for the positive outcome. Could simply speaking these basic but intelligible phrases in the local tongue, combined with a demonstration of genuine care, really be that transformative, even in the most miserable circumstances? That day showed that it could. I'm Farzana Marie. And this is my book, Hearts for Sale, A Buyer's Guide to Winning in Afghanistan. It's available on Amazon and on the publisher's website, worldwidewritings.com. I invite you to check it out.